Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. We'll be looking at this example on Lamy's theorem that says that consider an advertisement board which hangs with the help of two strings. Now why are these strings? These are the strings here. And this board, let's say the name of the board is Graphics Tutors. It's hanging towards what? With the ceiling. Calculate the tension in both strings in this case. Now we know that whenever you place a load on a string, the string develops a tension, right? So the tension on that string, we'll call this tension, tension T. I will call this tension also, tension T also. So if this is point A, where you attach the string to, and this point B, where you attach the, the string to, and where both of the string meet, let's call it point C. So I'll call this to be TCB, and I'll call this to be what? TAC. So tension along CB and tension along AC. Right? So it said something that it's making an equal angle with the ceiling. So that means it's making an equal, let's say the angle to be what? Theta. Angle here to be what? Theta. So making an equal angle with the ceiling. That's okay now. Now let us now redraw this in our free body diagram. In redrawing this in our free body diagram, we'll be having something like this. Let me make it big. Mm -hmm. Something like this. And something like this. Why is like this is the board that that's carrying graphics with us is having a weight, and that weight is acting what? Downward. So we'll call it W. Right? W is equal to what? Um, Mg. So W is equal to what? Mass times what? Gravity. Now, this is the ceiling here. Let's assume this is our ceiling here. And there's an angle at this ceiling, which is what? Theta. And we have another one here is what? Theta. Right? So if I draw my four cardinal point along the point where the three forces meet, like this. So let's say this is my north, this is my, let me say this is my east, right, this is my west, this is my north, and this is my, my south. We know very well that if this angle here is theta, this angle here also will be what, theta. We call it alternate angle. Whenever you have this Z shape, the angle at this point is equal to the angle at this point. That is alternate angle. Similarly, the same thing happens here. Theta. Now, you should know very well that the angle between east and south here, that is between this point here and this point here, is said to be what? It's said to be 90. Right? So if I add these two, I'll be having 90 plus theta. The angle between west and south also is what? So the angle between west and south is also what? 90. That is the angle between this point and um, this point is what? 90. So if you add theta plus what? 90, you'll be having 90 plus theta. Are we good? Now, we know very well that the angle between north and west is also 90. So if I want to get this angle at this point here, it will be what? 90 minus what? Theta, because it will be a subtract. We are trying to get this angle out of the whole angle. And the angle between here also and here will be what? 90 minus what? Theta. Because north and east is 90. And if you want to get this angle, it will be what? The entire angle minus the angle given. So to give us this. So if I'm adding these two together, when you add um, 90 minus theta plus 90 minus theta to give you 180 minus 2 theta. So the angle here is 180 minus 2 theta. 180 minus what? 2 theta. So if I'm to redraw this again, if I'm to redraw this again, I'll be having something like this. If I'm redrawing, let's see, I'm having something like this. 
the weight acting downward mg the total angle here is 90 plus theta the total angle here is still 90 plus theta that is this here so let me put it this way and the total angle here is what 180 minus 2 theta so the angle here but recall before i write that recall 180 minus 2 theta is equals to what oh let's just put, move forward so here's what 180 minus what 2 theta that is the angle here so this is my force tac and tension tcb so now after doing that right we're moving forward now after doing that we've got in this force here is now having is now in form of what a concurrent coplanar force so it shows that what we can apply our Lamis theorem one of the character criteria for applying Lamis theorem is that what the force must be three and they must be concurrent and also what a coplanar force too and this fulfills that criteria so now we write that applying applying Lamis theorem applying Lamis theorem it says that the force over the angle between the two force here so we have um, mg all over what all over sine 180 minus 2 theta that is 1 equals to TAC over the angle here we have TAC all over sine 90 plus theta it is also equals to tcb over this tcb all over what sine 90 plus theta how oh, good so this is what let me is telling me that the force over the angle and the force over the angle then the force over the angle sine of the angle right so we're moving forward now after that we take two at a time so i'm taking this and this now we say my mg all over sine into bracket 180 minus what two theta equals to what t a c all over what sine 90 plus theta what we're having now let me take you down the memory lane we know very well that sine 180 minus 2 theta is equals to what sine 2 theta i know you'll be asking how come why where this is the reason now the reason is this let's check let theta be equal to what 30 or any angle of your choice so whenever we see theta let's place 30 so we have having sine 180 minus 2 minus 2 into bracket what 30 how good equals to what sine 2 bracket what 30 so we have having sine 180 minus 2 times 30 is what 60 right equals to what sine what 60 so we subtract 180 from 160 from 60 we have having sine what sine 120 equals to what sine 60 so let's look at our calculator and check now this is the calculator here if i press sine of 120 what is it giving me it's giving me 0 0.0866 0 0.0866 equals to if i press sine 60 sine 60 what is it giving me the same thing 0 0.8660 so it means they are equal right so i'll write it as 
that my mg all over what sine 2 theta equals to tac all over what sine 90 plus theta now let's see let's move forward this is just a side working right so from here we're moving forward recall recall sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta and sine 90 plus theta is equal to what cos theta so now anywhere i see sine 2 theta i'm going to place 2 sine theta cos theta and anywhere i see sine 90 plus theta it gives me cos theta so i'll equate put them in this my equation here so we we'll have mg all over so i'm putting sine theta i'll put 2 sine theta cos what theta equals to TAC all over instead of me putting sine 90 plus theta I'll put what cos theta now we are moving forward so in this case here if I cross multiply TAC will be equals to mg cos theta this is cos theta I'm cross multiplying taking it up here all over what 2 sine theta cos theta so sine theta cos theta will cancel cos theta so when i say therefore tac is equal to what mg over what 2 sine what theta so that is my answer there Thank you very much. And you should know that TAC is equals to what? TAC is equals to what? TCB because the angular what? Equal. So you have the same value. So thank you very much for watching.